Hello everyone. So today let's solve the problem minimum score of a path between two cities. So we are given a positive integer n representing n cities numbered from 1 to n. Okay. We are, we are also given a 2D array roads where roads of i is a of i, b of i and distance of i indicates that there is a bidirectional road between cities a, a of i and b of i with a e distance equal to distance of i. The city's graph is not necessarily connected. Okay. The score of a path between two cities is defined as the minimum distance of a road in this path. Return the minimum possible score of a path between cities 1 to n. Okay, 1 and n. Uh, a path is a sequence of roads between two cities. It is allowed for a path to contain the same road multiple times. Okay, and you can visit 1 to n cities uh, multiple times uh, along the path. Okay, so the test cases are generated such that there is at least one path between 1 to n. Okay, fine. So we have been given this graph, and our task is to go to Go from 1 to n. Okay. Now, what is n here? n is 4. Okay. n is 4. Now, we have an array road. Okay. Where road of i is a, a of i, b of i, and distance of i, right? Which is nothing but a is a vertex, b is another vertex, and distance is the weight of the edge between the uh, vertex a and b, isn't it? Okay. Let us say that we want to go to uh, from 1 n okay and we can go we can take any path so this is a path isn't it this is a path isn't it then it is said that uh, we can visit a city multiple times so if we go to here then if we come to here we can again visit this place then go to here okay so this is also a path okay this is also a path now our task is to find the minimum score of a path now what is minimum score see these are the distances right or the weights of these edges so if we consider this path the score of this path is 7 okay the score of this path is 7 if we consider this path the score of uh, this path is the minimum of all the distances that is minimum of 5 and 9 that is 5 so the score of this path is 5 okay then if we consider this path what is the score of this path it is the minimum of 9 and 6 and 5 that is 5 so the minimum possible score comes out to be 5. So 5 is our answer. Let's see. Yes, 5 is our answer. If we see this example, what is the minimum score? If we take this path, we get a minimum score of 4. Okay. If we take this path, then we come back and go. We get a minimum score of minimum of 2, 4 and 7. That is 2. So 2 would be our answer. Okay. This, isn't it? 2 is our answer. Let's say, we have a city configuration like this. Okay. So one, two, five and six uh, nodes are connected and these are disconnected. Okay. They are uh, different. They're separate. Okay. So in this case, what would be our answer? If we consider this path, if we consider this path, we will encounter a minimum distance of three. Okay. So the score of this path would be three. But if we consider this one, the minimum would be four. So this three is going to be our answer. But see this, this one has a lesser distance, isn't it? So if we consider the score of this path, it's two lesser. But there is no way we can reach from 1 to n. I mean 1 to 6, right? They're totally separate, isn't it? So they're to uh, not at all bothering us, right? So we can't consider this one. That That's what means by this. The city's graph is not necessarily connect connected, okay? So we are supposed to uh, consider the connected ones, isn't it? See, these are connected, connected components, isn't it? Something like that, okay? So in case you have thought that, like, if we run a for loop in our... Uh, roads array okay and we take the minimum distance in that one okay so it's not going to work because see even if this is the minimum but this is disconnected right so this is not going to be our answer our answer is going to be this okay so what are we going to do we just need to find the minimum minimum weight of an edge or minimum distance between two cities right present in our graph okay one to n between one to n okay so this is nothing but a traversal so what we can do we can either do a bfs and we can either otherwise do a DFS. So we are going to look at both of them. Okay. So our task is simple. Okay. Traverse the whole graph. Okay. And find out whichever is the minimum distance. Okay. So that's going to be our answer. Simple. Nothing else. Okay. So let us now write the code. Okay. So first what we are going to do. We are going to create a adjacency list. Okay. Now if you, if you are so, uh, here to solve this graph problem. I at least expect you to know what an adjacency is. Okay. How, how we can create an adjacency list. Okay. So integer adj equals to new list n plus 1 okay for int i equals to 0 i less than n plus 1 plus plus 
j of i so we have created our adjacency list okay so for uh, for a node or say vertex uh, r of 0 r of 0 is connected to r of 1 and with a distance of r of 2 isn't it and also it's by bi direction right so r of 1 is connected to r of 0 with the same distance r of 2 okay so i hope you understand this now we need to create a boolean visited array isn't it in order to avoid visiting the same nodes again and again okay new boolean n plus 1 why we are doing n plus 1 because our task is to go from 1 to n isn't it not 0 to n minus 1 in that case we could have just taken n okay it's one indexing type of thing right here okay so since we are starting from 1 visited of 1 is going to be true we have visited isn't it now since we are doing a bfs let's create a queue new linked list okay and in that we are going to put our root isn't it root or like starting node isn't it one okay and our answer is going to be let's say score is going to be the maximum possible value right we can take integer dot max value as well but what is it here um our distance can be at max to uh, 10 power 4 isn't it so let's take a value like that okay now let's start our bfs while our queue uh, queue is not empty while our queue is not empty we will pull out the current vertex okay q dot pole okay now for all the uh, other vertices that our current is connected we will visit all of them okay so neighbors let's say any i in our adjacency of what current so all the neighbors that are connected to our current that would be given by adjacency of current isn't it if you see this one we created our adjacency like that that is what adjac adjacency is right okay so our next uh what is it uh, next vertex vertex is going to be any i of zero okay and our distance is any i of one right this is the neighbor this is our current okay it is connected to this right in this array this one this one is the neighbor okay neighbor vertex and this one is the distance between this and this okay so neighbor of one okay let's update our score math dot min of what math dot min of score comma distance right now what we will do if our if the neighbor is not visited then we will visit it okay but before that we will mark it as true that yes we are visiting it so let's mark it as true and we will offer it into our queue okay and at the end we will simply return our score so this is the solution let's run it let's submit cool it runs now what would be the dfs solution we will i will simply convert it to a dfs okay just see so we need this adjacency let's take out this adjacency private okay what else do we need we need this one We need this one and what else do we need we need the visited array right okay this visited array now globally they are declared now let's initialize them okay so our adjacency list is uh, uh, initialized our adjacency list is formed here populated here our visited array is populated here i mean uh, initialized here and we don't need a queue anymore what do we need we want to return our uh, score right where is it score and before that we started from vertex one isn't it so here we will call our dfs at vertex one okay uh, now let us write the dfs private for dfs it will have our current vertex okay i'm just simply going to copy this okay and i don't need it anymore okay now what about this so we are going to iterate over the neighbors okay we are going to visit the neighbors of our current that is given by adjacency of current okay we get the next uh, vertex and we get the distance okay from our current to next vertex okay we update our score isn't it then we see if our next is not already visited then we will visit it how we, by marking it true first of all then by calling a dfs on it okay dfs next 
so it will visit all the nodes from 1 to n okay and it will update our score to the minimum possible score okay so this is the solution let's run it looks pretty good submit cool so our solution works now if we talk about the time complexity of our bfs solution okay it's going to be a pico of n plus e okay or v plus e like it's generally said where n is the number of uh, vertices and e is the number of edges okay and what about the space complexity it's another big o of n plus e for our adjacency list and a big o of n for our boolean visited array and our queue okay so this is a clearly a big o of n space and this one is going to probably store at max all the n uh, vertices isn't it so that is a big o of twice n which is nothing but big o of n okay now what about our dfs solution the time complexity is a big O of n plus e, okay, clearly. And the space complexity is a big O of n plus e for our adjacency list and another big O of n for our Boolean visited array, okay. So this is the time and space for our DS DFS solution, okay. So I hope it's clear, okay. If you have any kind of doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. This is clearly a very simple graph traversal problem okay nothing else okay so if you know graph traversal then this problem is a piece of cake okay it's just that we need to find the minimum uh weight that's the thing okay so yeah if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one Bye bye